the more we understand about quantum physics, the more we challenge what is possible in the world. Gosh, a lot of things excite me about quantum. Hi, I'm Erica. My name is Demetrius Ansos. I'm Dr. Ian Nemitz. My name is Dr. Harry Shaw. I am Dr. Angela Hodge. I'm Maria. And I'm Amon. My name is Dr. Evan Katz. My name is Manabar. When we think of communication, we think of data transmission, and we want that data transmission to be reliable, fast enough, manageable with respect to size, and safe and secure. In the field of quantum, one of the things that's very interesting is that it's already been proven that there are quantum approaches that are more secure than classical approaches. At NASA Glenn, I lead the development of a computer simulation tool that models and estimates the efficiency of entanglement swaps for different weather conditions, technologies, locations, and other specific parameters. The purpose of this tool is to help plan future quantum missions, allowing us to test whether we may get a desired performance and result without having to actually send up a satellite. NASA recently launched the Laser Communication Relay Demonstration, or LCRD, and this has demonstrated the capabilities of optical communications. With these new advantages and the understanding of quantum optics, we're hoping to be able to integrate these two ideas into a future reliable and efficient quantum network. Quantum excites me because it offers the ability to communicate and sense phenomena in ways that are just not possible to do classically today. The aspect of quantum science that excites me the most is the future devices that may be built with quantum technologies. The accuracy and speed of such technology will allow for measurements and calculations to be done at such high resolutions and rates that they will allow new opportunities for exploration and study. The possibility that quantum brings to the computing field is very exciting. Advances in computing where we can uh, solve in real time extremely complex problems that cannot be solved with classical computers. I look for processes in our daily life and wonder about what types of quantum processes are underlying them. The technology that leverages quantum science has really benefited secure communication, cryptography, sensing, which can help model the seafloor, or it can help model the Earth's surface. It provokes us to rethink our infrastructure and how we store our information how we communicate, and uh, really how we exist in a world where uh, we can apply the rules of quantum to a physical realm. It truly is amazing how many ways in which quantum shows up in our everyday lives. Every time that one of us uses our cell phone, we uh, already incur quantum technologies and quantum effects. The apps that I use to drive through traffic rely on GPS. Each GPS satellite contains multiple atomic clocks that contribute to very precise time data in order to generate GPS signals. Atomic clocks are quantum technologies. Another popular example would be flow of electrons in semiconductors that are in so many of our electronic devices. In terms of computers, most computers consist of a basic building block known as a transistor. Transistors help control the flow of information in a computer by controlling the flow of electrons. And an electron is a type of quantum particle. One of the really neat things about working in the field of quantum as it is today is that you can feel as though you're really working at the frontier of a discipline. You can be a physicist, you can be a mathematician, you can be a computer scientist, you can be an engineer, and all of these professions contribute to the development of quantum tech. 